Just like here in Belgium, we have Antwerp, Gens, Mechelen, everywhere. But he brought this far boy as far as a village that we can fell on the map. When our grandmother he fell, that if all of us became crippled. And we fall short of God's glory. Satan dumped us to a place where nobody could find us. But we are bringing a good news. The king has come on the throne. He is asking that strong man, Where did you put my crippled boy? Go and bring him. And the Bible says, David went and fetched for Mephibosheth. Follow with me in the same verse where I'm reading. Verse 6. Now, when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, he fell on his face. He sent for him in Lodibar and brought him to Jerusalem where the king was living. But if there was nothing wrong about Lodibar, why did the Bible mention where the boy was living? The Bible say that a That name Lodiba means. The first two letters Lo means no. Yeah, uh, uh, nothing. Diba that follows means. Pastor. Communication. Or word. So Lodiba means a place of no pasture, a place of no communication, a place of no word. You are crippled. Your finances are crippled. Your womb is even crippled. Your health is even crippled. And where you are, no doctor can even find you. To even help you. That means your situation is critical. But glory be to God. When King Jesus came on the throne, He has been sent for you. You come out from your Lord Jesus to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says. The Bible says when Mephibosheth came into the house of David, the moment he entered the palace, the Bible says he fell on his face. He fell down on his face. He didn't see himself as a cripple and said, No, no, king, I'm not worthy of answering to your living room. Therefore, let me stay outside on the ground. By the gate side, the Bible says he came forward. Bible says, he fell on his feet. You and I, in our crippled condition, do we fall on the face of Jesus? Do we humble ourselves and go lower? Mephibosheth did the same thing. He did. And can you say, uh, can you say, uh, can you say, uh, I will restore unto you all that you have lost. Anytime time you come before King Jesus and you humble down yourself, you let go all your crippled conditions, all your crippled circumstances, and you go down low unto the King of Kings, he will lift you up and tell you, My son, my daughter, oh, I will restore unto you all that you have lost. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 He said, verse 8, and he bowed himself and said, What is thy servant? That, verse 8, he bowed and said to himself and said, What is thy servant thou should look upon me, such a dead dog as I am? Come and forth, he said, King David, how can you look like me? I don't know. I'm not even worthy to come in. Your carpet is too nice for me to walk at my clothes on your carpet. I am such a dead dog. That's why Paul said in Corinthians. And no, Anna. Paul, I can't He said, examine yourself. 
Maybe he was a designer himself. Maybe he was a designer. He saw that he was a cripple. So when Paul says, examine yourself, he doesn't say run away from the king's table. He doesn't say stay at home and forfeit the lost table. All that he is saying is that, how do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as Mephibosheth found himself? As being a cripple? As being a dead dog? All that Mephibosheth was doing is that. Yeah. He wanted to him to present to King David and say, David said, Papa, I am nothing. I am just a dead dog. I am nothing, Lord Jesus. I am just a cocaine trafficker. I am nothing. I am just a gossiper. I am nothing, Lord. I am just a thief. I am nothing, Lord. I am just a slanderer. I am nothing, Lord. Just examine yourself and see where you belong. But he knew he was a cripple. But he went even a step ahead and said, King David, who I am, because I'm just a dead dog. How do you examine yourself? When I said that, I said, the Lord's Supper was written by these four men. But as for Paul, he received it. The right from the one who instituted that last supper. And he God said, Tell them to examine themselves. Know who you are. If you know who you are, then you know which part of the table you are going to sit. Hallelujah. As for my people, he said, Lord, I am nothing. I am just a dead dog. In your cripple condition. Do you realize who you are? Every drunkard, when you say, yeah. oh, you are booze, don't walk. You get to say, Have you seen me? Oh, yes, I say, Oh, I never drank. I say, Oh, maybe, maybe, boy, I don't even drink 10 whiskey. I can't even add on top. I'll stay stand strong. He doesn't even realize his booze. In your fornication condition, do you realize yourself? In the time that you see yourself, do you realize yourself? The people said he saw it. The people said you know one thing is secret here. The revelation here is that the moment Mephibosheth said those things at the heart of David, the same thing. If you can let Jesus the king know your cable condition, it will cut him his heart. And he said, I don't care. One thing that he said, 